Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Okay, what have you been up to? Right, so today in dinner with the Rajas Kitchen, we're making some seafood stir fry. Yay! I know you cannot wait, right? So these are the ingredients I'll be using. Okay, so just a quick glance. I have here some seafood selection as well as some fish um, that I'll be adding to it. So we've got mussels, we've got some um, squid rings there and then some um, prawns. You can use prawns or shrimps, whichever one you have. You can go for that. Okay, so what I am going to do. So, right. So now just in case you're looking for this selection, you can get them in Aldi if you are in the UK. Okay, seafood selection is called, and the fish I'm using the Atlantic cod fillets. Okay, you can also find that in Aldi, in the freezer section. Okay, so we'll go straight ahead, and then we're just going to um, season um, our seafood. So I'll put in some smoked paprika. Right, and then I've got some garlic granules. And then next we move on to ginger powder so you can put some ginger i mean if you have the fresh ginger um and the fresh garlic you can obviously go for that and then i've got the aroma you know just to you know bring out some nice taste in there and i've got white pepper if you don't have white you can substitute with black pepper and i'm using vegeta Vegeta is just as simple as vegetable seasoning. Again, you can go in for any seasoning of your choice. So once that is done, I'll make sure it's everything is, you know, evenly coated with my um, seasoning. So just, you know, mix it and make sure, yeah, it's well marinated. So once I'm done, I'll set that aside and then into a bowl, I'll pour in a cup of water Depending upon the quantity you're making, obviously you can make it small or make it large. I want a bit of more sauce, okay? And then I add two tablespoonfuls of soy sauce to it. Again, also depends on the quantity you're making. If you want more, we well, can always go for more. And then some tablespoon of sesame oil. And I also have my oyster sauce, again, a tablespoon of that. All the ingredients will be listed down below in the description box. So please look out for it. Okay. And then I've also got here sugar, two tablespoonfuls of sugar, brown sugar for that. Again, I've got here my corn flour, just to make sure that my sauce will be thickened up in the process. One tablespoon is perfect for me. So once I'm happy, just going to go in and whisk it just to make sure that, yeah, you can even mixture as well. Everything is well mixed together. Once I'm happy, just get your wok ready. Into your wok, you add some oil. I'm using the olive oil today. Okay can get that also from Aldi, guys. Or oh, your favorite supermarket. Yeah, so once that is all heated up, we add our seafood selection, which has already been marinated. What do you think about the color? I think it looks beautiful. And you can already tell that this is going to really taste good, isn't it? <laughs> Your favorite restaurant style. All right. Once we've made sure that this is well cooked through, we add our vegetables. You don't have to add, you know, all the vegetables that I'm adding in here. I've got some carrots, cabbage. 
um so this is mixed veg um i opted for you don't have to do the, this way you can just go in for carrots or bell peppers or onions um i mean it's entirely up to you i chose to use this uh, mixed vegetables today okay so once that's gone in again i'm gonna add a bit of sweet chili just to kick the flavors up and just because I love my heat, I'm also adding a bit of Scott Bonnet as well, sauce. Just to, you know, kick up the heat a bit. And then carefully, carefully stir through. Yeah, we almost forgot our grated garlic and ginger so i've added that um never mind we've already spiced the fish with it so even if you miss that out that's absolutely fine but at this point i had it already minced so i had to add it okay so once i'm happy with that i'm just gonna go straight in with the sauce just stirring it to make sure it's not lumpy or it's not sat at the bottom And then we will give it the next five ten minutes um to make sure that it simmers through and thickens up and we good to go very very simple recipe guys okay look at that look at that simple for the family but tasty okay it's gonna blow everybody's mind i do something called chinese friday in my house and every friday Dominus. we enjoy see this. you in my next video bye